Hi, I'm Scott Newdom, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today's video is on the new Sony 4K VPL VW325 ES projector. As we were reviewing the new Sony projectors, I decided to do some testing in my own theater, so we're shooting here today. The upshot is that the Sony 325 ES is a terrific true 4K projector for under 6K. If you're looking for a more expensive laser projector or a less expensive projector option, we have reviews on a host of projectors at audiovice.com. Now let's get started. The VW325 ES boasts 1500 lumens and is HDCP 2.2 compatible with a full 18 gigabits per second bandwidth. We see this projector being used with screens up to 150 inches. Beyond that, you need to move up to a brighter projector. Obviously, for screens closer to 100 inches to 120 inches, this projector produces an even brighter image. In terms of processing, Sony modified the X1 processor from its top-of-the-line televisions to create the X1 processor for projectors. This processor is totally cutting edge and is what really differentiates Sony's projectors from the pack. It is this processor that works the magic in converting the HDMI feed into the beautiful picture you see on the screen. Cheaper projectors often have really high lumens, but terrible processing, so the picture and the colors don't look nearly as good. Sony's always been at the forefront of great processing, and the X1 is no exception. One of the biggest advantages of the X1 for projectors is contrast and light control. Let me explain a little bit more about HDR so you can understand how important Sony's light control and contrast processing capabilities really are. HDR is short for High Dynamic Range. This technology actually came from digital photography where it was an effort to improve the contrast between the blackest blacks and the whitest whites. The goal of HDR is to ultimately deliver a better picture that is more lifelike. It is actually as big a jump as we saw going from high definition to 4K. Almost all new movies incorporate HDR. Plus, both Netflix and Prime Video have tons of HDR-enabled content. HDR gives us a better picture by enabling us to see much smaller degrees of changes in brightness. With SDR, a mountain range might appear as one seamless brown area. But with HDR, you can see the fine highlights and shadows and levels of color changes in the mountains. Colors also show more super delicate gradations and become more richer and lifelike. Basically, everything looks more natural. With HDR, there's metadata embedded in the video stream telling the display how to handle the image. These instructions are assuming the video display is capable of a certain amount of light output. Light output is measured in foot lamberts or nits, with one nit being the light level of a single candle. The HDR content commercial movie theaters receive is based on a very specific nit spec of 106. HDR for consumer products is based on a range of nits from 1,000 to 4,000 and in some rare cases, 10,000. Most HDR-enabled consumer televisions can deliver this level of light output or close to it. Front projectors cannot even get close with the most able to produce light output in the range of maybe 100 to 200 nits. The result on a front projector is a super dark picture that is not even close to what the video producer intended us to see. Most people with traditional projectors have found themselves constantly turning up the brightness and contrast on their projectors to counteract how dark their HDR content is. This leads to a suboptimal picture, but also really way over brightens SDR content. Or you might set up your projector to be somewhere in the middle, but then both your HDR and SDR content suffers. Sony attacks this problem by using the X1 processor for projectors. As each frame of the video content travels through the X1 processor, it is analyzing every single part of that frame to determine which parts contain dark and light levels. What the Sony Dynamic HDR Enhancer does, in simple terms, is to enhance the bright areas and, in the dark areas, pull down the black levels. To do this on a frame-by-frame -frame level takes an extremely fast processor like the great X1 model Sony modified for use in this projector. What really excites me is Sony's Dynamic HDR Enhancer is not fixed at one level. There are three levels of magnitude, which means you can apply this to your screen size and screen gain. 
Those with very large screens and less nits will likely set it on the high setting, whereas people with smaller screens will probably use the low to medium setting. If Audio Advice is setting up your projector, we will actually do the calculations and set it at the correct level. If you're buying it from us and we're shipping it to you, we will actually send you the details on how to set it up based on your specific setup. What is also pretty cool is the fact you now have separate settings for SDR and HDR on this projector. On many screens, you may not need to use full light output on SDR, but you could use it for HDR. It's important to pause here and understand that this means there is basically a dual contrast control engine that includes the X1 for projector processor enhancing frame by frame and the advanced iris working together to give you the best contrast possible. Being able to adjust this separately for SDR and HDR is a huge feature. Ideally, I would like Sony to have a way to input the actual foot lamberts or nits of an individual setup and have the processor adjust based on that data. But for now, this is a massive improvement for HDR content. And the new X1 processor for projectors offers vast improvements on non-HDR program material as it is much better at upsampling the signal to 4K than the previous version. The VW325 will also seamlessly work with an aftermarket panamorph lens should you really want to go the extra mile to get every bit of light for widescreen viewing. If you're trying to decide whether to do a traditional 16x9 or 2.4 setup, go over to audioadvice.com and look at the buyer's guides under home theater. There we have a really good guide explaining widescreen and pretty much everything else home theater related, along with videos of home theater installs and an inspiration gallery. The VW325 uses three true 4K SXRD imagers delivering 8.8 .8 million pixels. This is an important point because you will find that many less expensive projectors use 4K marketing language but do not produce a true 4K image. Now Motion Flow is a Sony tech that has been around for a while, but it is amazing how well it works. On many projectors, when the scene moves really fast across the screen, you see some jerkiness or stuttering of the image. Motion Flow totally eliminates this. It is really fun to watch a train fly across the screen and turn Motion Flow on and off to see how well it works. One of the best features of the VW325 is its installation flexibility. Lens shift allows you to move the image up and down or left and right on your screen with zero picture degradation. This is incredibly important if you do not hang your projector perfectly centered on your screen. You can actually be off several inches and still perfectly fill your screen using lens shift. For the DIY person, lens shift is a massive bonus. A great example of this is an installation video we actually have on our website now where it was in an attic and we had to offset the projector dramatically from where the screen was because of the shape of the room. If you want to see an example of how we did that and did the measurements, go check that out on audioadvice.com. Every projector has a specification for a range of distances it can be from your screen to properly fill the screen. The 325 has over a two times zoom ratio. While there are some sweet spots we help our customers find, the range is very wide compared to the competition. If you are designing a new theater and are trying to figure out where to place the projector and speakers and how many chairs will fit into your room, check out our free home theater design tool at audioadvice.com where you can put in your room dimensions and it will show you in real time what is possible. The 325 also has input lag reduction that you can turn on for gaming. As you might imagine, there's some trade-off in motion enhancement and color processing, but it's a great feature that you can turn on and off based on whether you're gaming or not. In summary, the VPL VW325ES is an incredible projector for the money. It is ideal for a small all the way up to a medium sized 16 by 9 screen where you want a superb video experience. If you have a particularly large screen and or want to move up to a laser projector, you should check out our videos on the 325's Big Brother projectors. One key thing to note is that the Sony projectors really excel when they're set up and calibrated correctly. Obviously, if Audio Advice is installing it for you, we will calibrate it. If you purchase your projector from us to install yourself, we will actually send you our tips and tricks setup guide that shows you our preferred settings, including how to optimally set up the SDR and HDR settings for the best picture possible on this projector. 
If you have any questions at all, give us a call or chat with us at audioadvice.com or stop by one of our Charlotte or Raleigh showrooms. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to be the first to get more home theater and home audio content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.